In Washington today, the Postal Service was one topic of conversation. Senator Gary Peters led an oversight hearing of the Homeland Security and Government Affairs Committee. The purpose of the meeting was to take a closer look at the Postal Service's current operations and finances, as well as proposed changes to the postal system's network and the possible impact those changes could have on rural communities like those in the Upper Peninsula. And to put it in perspective, on-time delivery is uh, is absolutely critical for folks in the Upper Peninsula, for example. People who are uh, engaged in test water testing to see bacterial levels uh, in their water, they need to have real quick turnaround. In fact, they need next day delivery for those tests to be valid. And it's critical that the post office is actually able to deliver that next day delivery so that those tests can be validated. Our veterans. Our veterans uh, need to be sure that they get their medications which are provided via the postal service uh, and that has to happen on a on an everyday basis or it can have significant health impacts not to mention uh, paying bills and and all of the other necessities uh, of life it is critical to, to happen we're concerned in the upper peninsula that you may see a major postal facility uh, may be closed uh, in the up and transferred to that work transferred to wisconsin that means mail going to uh, even within the upper peninsula from one up town to another has to go through Wisconsin uh, before it gets back to the UP. That ha and what I heard uh, from uh, uh, folks uh, today is that no one's really fully assessed what that impact could be when it comes to uh, on-time uh, delivery. Senator Peters asked the Postmaster General to pause any future changes until an assessment can be made on potential impacts to service and corrective actions are taken.